Today we are going to operate on a little one month old girl. She's a former 35 week preemie who presented to the emergency department a couple of weeks, uh, about one week ago actually, with a uh, left inguinal hernia. At the time it was thought to be incarcerated. We came in and looked at her. It was easily reducible, felt to me like it was uh, an ovary uh, that it had gotten partially stuck. So um, we have uh, booked her for elective repair. Uh, our approach to it here at Stanford is to perform these cases laparoscopically. Um, we've developed this technique and it's evolved over the last 15 years. Um, currently we use a uh, five millimeter port in the umbilicus and we then use typically one assistant uh, instrument through a three millimeter incision uh, in the left lower quadrant. Uh, and finally we use a, uh, a suture that we pass externally around the internal ring. And we've evolved the technique, which you'll see in the case today, to use a double pass or suture ligature technique. We also use some cautery to uh, burn the anterior sac of the peritoneum. Um, and we'll go through the case uh, shortly, and you'll see some of the tips and tricks that we use. We have a couple of Adsons, 11 blade to Michaela. We're gonna start. So um, I like to do this uh, vertically. We sometimes have to make it a little bigger at the end of the, so she's got a ex pre-existing umbilical hernia. Yeah, so at the end, we might have to extend the incision just a, the incision just a little to be able to fully get that. So whichever way you want to do it, it doesn't matter to me. Bear okay. time with me, please. Actually, snap first. Yeah, keep going down. Good. It should be probably in this side there. Very good. We'll take a 3O silk on an RB1, please. Gas on. Laparoscopic light on. Perfect. Hold that for a sec. Port, please. So when you're going through a pre-existing umbilical hernia, uh, it's you know the, the port just doesn't stay very well. So, so we'll just suture it in. It just makes everyone's life a lot easier for this case. So I'm gonna just show you how I do it. Yep. So hold this guy in place for a sec. So. I, just to kind of tighten it up, I kind of grab each side of the skin. Actually get a little bit of the port mm -hmm. sheath itself, which sometimes causes the air to leak, but usually it's okay. And then scissors, can you just cut the needle off? Mm -hmm. Very good. Kind of tie that down to make it airtight. So this port shouldn't budge at all. And then in addition, just for extra measure, we go around here and do some kind of locking half hitches in order to, uh, if this thing wants to pull back, it'll tighten up and hopefully keep it in place. Cause, so it doesn't just tug at this? You know, it's a quick case, but if this port keeps coming in and out, it just becomes, uh, it just adds a lot of time that's unnecessary. It's worth a minute to put it in position. All right, let's take a look. All right, so first thing we're looking at,